The lady from Pennsylvania is recognized for any questions she may care to address to the panel. Certainly, and thank you. As um, I think the only member of the Rules Committee who has actually practiced immigration law, I would have to remind the panel that, in fact, you can apply for asylum at the border, and the people who are released to the interior are people who have active cases, so they are not illegals. They are people who have sought um, protection under our laws. <laughs> anyone who's not entitled to bring that case is turned back. So anyone who's a migrant who's been admitted into the country is, in fact, here under some status. Um, so I have to agree with the ranking member that this is um, not a serious bill. I mean, for the past year or so, we've seen the Republican governors of Florida and Texas ship people, families, children, to um, states run by Democrats just to score political points. I have I have met the people they have shipped here. I have met the people between Christmas and New Year's of this year who the governor of Texas sent to Philadelphia, children with sandals on their feet arriving in Philadelphia in sub-zero temperatures, people without any winter coats. Because this was not about people, this was not about who had the resources to take care of them. This was about demonizing these people. It's absurd. And, and to have the gall to criticize the manner in which the cities to whom these poor souls were sent, um, mobilized resources to receive them it is beyond hypocritical. It, it's really quite disgusting. I mean, we are seeing alternative facts used as the basis for this very unserious bill. The Biden administration does not have an open border policy. In fact, um, attempts to cross the border have dropped in recent months by a huge amount. In fact, these people are eligible to enter the country and apply for asylum. Um, over the course of our nation's history, our public schools have been used as disaster relief agencies. Nobody has proposed putting um, these poor souls in schools where children are actively there. Nobody has proposed using federal education funding to take care of these folks. If, in fact, that were to happen, then um, the gentlelady is absolutely right. That would be illegal to use federal um, education dollars for purposes for which it was not entitled, and that could be a matter for legal recourse. But this is just absurd. It's based on untruths, and it is, it's just grotesque, having created a false crisis to then uh, try to make it worse. So, um, Mr. Scott, is there anything you want to add? Well, yeah, this, this bill was reported from the Committee on Education and, and Workforce. Uh, it was designed, in my judgment, just to provide an opportunity for some members to disparage uh, migrants and criticize immigration policy, which is not within our jurisdiction, and just remind everyone that um, this only applies to emergency shelter except for disasters, uh, not non-emergency shelter. There's no speaking to that. You can have that as long as you want. And no prohibition against shelter and others. Not to mention people on work release or pretrial detention. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have them. And there's no requirement that you divert any education funds, as you've suggested. Um, just housing. So uh, it's, it's hard to take the legislation seriously. I mean, you know, I, I completely agree that we should work together to address the situation at the border, to address um, how we deal with people trying to come to this country under a variety of circumstances, and that the local communities that receive them, whether in Texas or elsewhere around the country, deserve to have resources to help do that. But throwing people out on the street, shipping them around the country as though they were cattle, is not the way to do it. I yield back. Thank you very much.